Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to connect up your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller to your Windows PC so you can use it on the CXBX Reloaded emulator, which is an original Xbox emulator. So there's two ways of going about this. You can either, first of all, this is a great way of checking that any controller has connected and it's working, is going to game we just type in game controller, go to setup USB game controllers. There's nothing in there because I've got no game controller set up currently. So you, you have one of two options. The first option is wired using a micro USB cable. You can use the one that you use for charging. And I'm actually using the one that came with my original Xbox One back in 2013. I love using this one just because of how long it is. It's like that was one of the good things that the Xbox One, not many good things to be fair about the 2013 one, but one was, it had a nice looking cable and it was super long. I could literally sit really far back. Okay, so you can just plug it in, you'll start charging it and it will detect it right there. So if I go to properties and if I start moving the analog stick around, and I'll move it over just in case my little video stream is covering it i don't think it will be but just in case as you can see that's all working that's fine so if that's what you want just a wired option really simple you can launch cxbx reloaded and skip to like probably a minute or two into the video where from here where we'll set it up in the emulator if not if you want to this has just appeared because i didn't close this window down if you do that won't appear the other option is wireless. For wireless, you do need Bluetooth. I am using a cheap MPOW dongle. It's super cheap. It's just a few quid off Amazon. Just any Bluetooth dongle will do. This is a few years old. Or if your computer, your laptop already has Bluetooth built in, great, you can just use that. So you'll need Bluetooth for this. And what we will do is type in Bluetooth, go to here. Go to add Bluetooth or other device. We'll click this, but before we do, let's put this into, you know, sync mode. And to do that, you press the share button and you press the PlayStation button at the same time. And this light will start flashing after a few seconds. So if I press the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time, you'll see the light will start flashing. There we go. It is now flashing. It is in sync mode. And I'll leave this here so you can see the light. If I go to Bluetooth, it will be detected as wireless controller. Click that. And this light will go solid. That's all connected now. If I go to done, let's minimize this. There we go. It is now detected. If I go to properties, same thing again. It works as it did wirelessly. So, I mean, why with a wire? So you can either do a wire or wireless, totally up to you. Now we can actually map these controls in CXBX Reloaded. So go to OK, OK, launch up CXBX. If you have not already set this up, I've got a separate video covering this. And in the description, I will put the link to the playlist for all the Xbox emulator stuff. So go to settings, config input. You can configure it as a, a, the Duke or the smaller S controller totally up to you port one or port two three or four whatever i'm going to go to configure i've already configured it for my xbox one controller so what i'm going to do is actually create a new configuration i'm going to put it as ps4 controller from the device you want to drop down and select the ps4 controller right there and now we can start mapping everything so i'll go to clear there we go. And now let's start mapping. Obviously, you can map them in any order you want. You could have the A button, which usually would be, you know, like there. You could have it here if you want to. That's totally up to you. That's the benefit of using, one of the benefits of using an emulator. But I'm just going to map it normally. And then I'll do this in a circle. I want to show you as well. And because we won't be using R1 and L1, I'll use that as the black and white button. Oh, why they had a black and white button that's actually something i might google after this there might have been a specific reason or at least why they called it that i know they were colored black and white but yeah I don't know. start 
Okay, so now the left analog stick. Hopefully I can do this with one hand. Uh, I think left, yeah, left is my right on this case. There we go. Okay, now the right analog stick. And now the D-pad. Up, down, left, right. Sound like a GTA 3 <laughs> cheat. And the trigger, so I'll do two. R2 and that is it. Okay, so we can save that now and as you can see we have both configurations or if you have more than them that's fine. I'm gonna go to X, X and now I can launch up a game but you know you are all set up and ready to go. Yeah, let's ignore that. Good start. I'm gonna turn the volume down. There we go. Now, obviously depending on the game it may take longer, it may not. And I'll just skip that using the DualShock 4 controller. And I'm able to move up and down and I can press new game. There we go. So it is that simple to set up your DualShock 4 PlayStation 4 controller to your Windows machine to use it on the CX BX Reloaded emulator. It's a bit of a mouthful so far. So you can play original Xbox games. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.